Olivia Rodrigo. American singer-songwriter and actress. Olivia Isabel Rodrigo is an American singer-songwriter and actress. She first became known for starring on the Disney Channel series Bizardvark and the Disney Plus series High School Musical, The Musical, The Series. Born, February 20, 2003, age 21 years, Morietta, California, United States. Parents, Chris Rodrigo, Jennifer Rodrigo. Height, 1.65 meters nationality, American. Early life. Olivia Isabel Rodrigo was born on February 20, 2003, in Temecula, California. She is of Filipino descent on her father's side and German-Irish descent on her mother's side. Olivia showed a keen interest in performing arts from a young age, participating in acting and singing competitions. By age six, she was taking voice lessons, and by the time she was ten, she had picked up the guitar and piano. Her early passion for music and storytelling set the stage for her future career. Acting career Olivia began her professional journey in the entertainment industry as an actress. She gained recognition for her roles in Disney Channel productions, debuting in An American Girl, Grey Stirs Up Success, 2015. She rose to fame portraying Paige Olvera on the Disney Channel series Bizardvark, 2016-2019. Olivia later starred as Nini Salazar Roberts in the Disney Plus series High School Musical, The Musical, The Series, 2019-2022, where her talent for singing and songwriting came to the forefront. Music Breakthrough In January 2021, Olivia Rodrigo released her debut single, Driver's License, under Geffen Records. The song quickly became a global phenomenon breaking multiple streaming records, and topping the charts in several countries. Its emotional vulnerability and relatable storytelling resonated with millions, earning critical acclaim and commercial success. The song's success marked Olivia's transition from actress to full-fledged pop star. Her follow-up singles, Deja Vu and Good For You, showcased her versatility as an artist, blending pop, indie, and rock influences. These tracks further cemented her position as one of the most promising young talents in the music industry. Debut Album, Sour Olivia released her debut album, Sour, in May 2021. The album was a critical and commercial triumph, featuring themes of heartbreak, self-discovery, and teenage angst. Hits like Traitor, Happier, and Brutal highlighted her lyrical prowess and emotional depth. Sour earned numerous accolades, including three Grammy Awards in 2022, and made Olivia one of the youngest artists to win Best New Artist. Artistic Style and Influences Olivia's music is characterized by raw, emotional lyrics paired with a mix of pop, rock, and indie elements. Her honest storytelling has drawn comparisons to Taylor Swift, one of her biggest inspirations. She also cites artists like Lord, Paramore, and Fiona Apple as major influences on her sound. Advocacy and Personal Life Beyond her music, Olivia is a vocal advocate for mental health awareness and encourages young people to embrace their emotions. She has used her platform to discuss issues such as self-confidence, heartbreak, and societal pressures. Despite her rapid rise to fame, Olivia remains grounded, often sharing glimpses of her personal life and creative process with her fans. Recent projects. In 2023, Olivia released her highly anticipated second studio album, Guts. The album continued her exploration of complex emotions and relationships, showcasing her growth as both a songwriter and a vocalist. Songs like Vampire and Bad Idea Right received widespread acclaim for their bold sound and candid lyrics. Legacy. Olivia Rodrigo is widely regarded as one of the defining voices of her generation. With her ability to connect deeply with listeners through her music, she has become a cultural icon and an inspiration to young artists around the world. Olivia Rodrigo is a soulful artist with a rare gift for emotive and empathetic songwriting. I think I'm good at knowing how people feel, how I feel, and being able to capture that, the Los Angeles-based singer-songwriter actor shares. Her father had Filipino ancestry. 
Her mother had his German, English, Irish, and some Austrian ancestry. Her keen sense for conveying feeling has served her well, thus far. Olivia is the star of the first two seasons of the Disney Plus High School musical series. Acting has been something of a new development for her. Singing since she was four, Olivia took up acting, based on a recommendation from her vocal coach. Acting and music relate in that they are both about capturing feelings and moments as accurately as you can, she shares. Olivia exudes an intriguing paradox of being both exuberantly youthful and, sagely, an old soul. She seeks authenticity and bold expression in her music. My favorite songs are brutally honest and give a vivid look into the artist's life and mind, she says. Honest storytelling is my ultimate goal. A select cross-section of her influences include artists as diverse as Fiona Apple, Jack White, PJ Harvey, and Phoebe Bridgers. Olivia's worlds of acting, singing, and songwriting meet when she performs two original songs she wrote, as well as HSM classics, on the series. Writing for HSM was surreal, to say the least. The fact that they gave a 16-year-old a shot to write for such a big project is so awesome. She continues, I think the perspective of a teenage girl is so powerful, and something that doesn't always gets harnessed in its full capacity, too. As a kindergartner, Olivia took voice lessons, and then later piano lessons. At age 12, she began playing guitar. It was during this time that she began writing songs. I remember coming up with melodies and lyrics, and writing them down in this pink fluffy notebook that I had won at some arcade. I still keep that notebook on my bedside table, she says, laughing. Family. Parents. Ronald Rodrigo. Sophia. Trivia. Her mother had English, as well as German, Austrian, Irish ancestry. Her father is from the Philippines, and is of Filipino descent. Friends with Bizarre Vark, 2016, co-star Madison Who, Conan Gray, and Jenna Ortega. Named after Olivia Newton-John. She was cast as Gabriela Montez in the first season of High School Musical, The Musical, The Series, 2019. Gabriela Montez was played by Vanessa Hudgens in the High School Musical film series. Both of the actresses are from a Filipino descent. Rodrigo has a lot to be proud of. One thing that she's especially happy to represent is her family heritage. Rodrigo is Filipino through her father's side of the family. She has spoken admiringly about her great-grandfather's immigration to the United States. Apart from passing on her family story, Rodrigo continues to celebrate her heritage in her own life. She has stated that her paternal great-grandfather emigrated from the Philippines as a teenager and her family follows Filipino traditions and cuisine. Her major influences include Taylor Swift, Lord, Alanis Morissette, Jack White, Avril Lavigne, Casey Musgraves, St. Vincent, Cardi B, Pearl Jam, Fiona Apple, Lana Del Rey, and Gwen Stefani. Resemble to Lola Tongue. Quotes. Sometimes, you think have a lightning bolt idea, and you can write one song in 30 minutes. But it's not about those 30 minutes, it's about the hundreds of songs you write before that to practice for a 30-minute song. I think when you continuously show up, you show the universe that you are capable of bringing this idea to life and manifesting it in the way that it's supposed to be manifested. I'm spiritual in that way where I think that the universe pays attention to that and then will give you better ideas. From a young age, I realized that vulnerability equates to strength, and that's so true in my songwriting. I never want to stop learning and growing as a person. I don't really subscribe to hating other women because of boys. I think that's so stupid, and I really resent that narrative that was being tossed around. I write about what I know and what I am feeling intensely. Honesty is always relatable and you don't have to try to relate to large audiences, you just have to tell your story because humans are all so much more alike than we are different. We're all feeling so much of the same things that we just don't talk about. I think showing up is really important. It's more important than being talented or good at anything, because you can be super talented, but if you don't show up, what's the point? I love songs where you can listen to them and sort of feel like you're in another world. And the way you do that is through imagery and details. I think that's definitely a thing that sometimes older people can do to younger people, 
to kind of trivialize what they're going through just because, you know, they're fine, they're just kids. They'll get through it. But it feels so real when you're in it. It's so valid. 